Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Uh, before we head into the episode, I want to talk a bit about what we still have in store for uh, The Witcher 3 playthrough on the Death March difficulty. We still have a lot of scavenger hunts to do, so today will be one of those. We're going to do the uh, Superior Cat School gear. Um, but there are a few other things we still can do. There's a few side quests I still haven't done yet, so I'm gonna sprinkle these in every once in a every while. So uh, you'll see on the thumbnails which color they are. Uh, you'll see on that which uh, DLC it belongs to, which DLC or the main game that I'm playing. Uh, the other things that are very interesting that I still need to do are the Gwen tournament. So you have a Gwen tournament in the base game in the Passiflora that we haven't done yet and there's one in blood and wine as well but before we uh, do any of that we're gonna do the superior cat school gear today uh we're gonna start off with the uh, silver sword diagram because i accidentally found that already and picked that up couldn't uh, put that back in the box of course uh so we're here on the entrance of a cave it's filled with knackers normally but of course they're all dead already and uh, i'll show you the map in a minute there we go south of novigrad south west kind of of Drahim castle and in between Drahim castle and the border post there should be a cave right over there in that forest and that's where we're gonna head in inside the cave you can uh, climb up on the right side and i think we need to blast our way through here there we go and behind this little alcove is a chest and in that chest i can't show you right now but in that chest you will find the silver sword upgrade diagram so there we go first piece easy and done so next up north on novigrad and east from the uh, battle we did with the sand mage on the this little beach here there's a giant cave i think with an earth elemental inside i killed the earth elemental already but inside is the where, why is it oh yeah because the the symbol is probably over here on the rock somewhere there we go so inside is the uh, steel sword upgrade diagram I'll show you on the map. So there we go, Novigrad right over here and straight on top of it there is even a, uh, a waypost over there for the cavern, the monster den. Let's head inside. Oh, never mind, I didn't kill it. I might have killed it but then reset this checkpoint because I wanted to save that for this video. So there's the golem. I think I can pretty much do this without uh, any of my, uh, yeah. Okay, Geralt. This isn't gonna take long. There we go, with our current gear, that's easy peasy, of course. But that's not the issue here. Can I actually do this guy? Doesn't seem like he has anything of interest. Okay, so let's take a look around. Seems like there's a lot of loot over here. So let's look, go through it really quickly. But I think this chest is the mother load. There we go. The feline steel sword superior upgrade diagram. So let's head to the armor upgrade diagram location. Maybe a nice thing to add. If you head further into the cave, there's a, uh, an illusion that hides an alchemist lab. And there's a note on one of the corpses here. Jester had one task. One, to write incantations on the ribbons used in creating the golem. And what did he do? Made a dog's dinner of it, of course. And as a result, instead of a guard, we have a murderer walking our lab. And I ask, did you double check the incantations? Oh I, yes sirree. Are you sure? Sure as shooting I. And yet the results prove otherwise. To think that I could have had one of my students do it instead of that imbecile. We barricaded ourselves in, but it'll get us. It's only a matter of time, at least. I can dull the horror of my last minutes with Fistag. Prime quality stuff at that, we would have garnered top coin for it. Had Jester not been a complete and probably illiterate idiot. Well, guess I didn't have many years left to me anyways, and better to go out with a bang than to die slowly in a hospital. So I suppose it's Vafail, cruel world. So this uh, alchemist elf here uh, was making drugs with his fellow... Uh, well, students, and apparently got killed by the golem they tried to use as protection, sadly. But let's head on to the armor diagrams. So it appears the armor diagrams are indeed uh, guarded by an earth elemental. Let's show you that on the map. We're starting to get into the lower marches, pretty close to where uh, Bald Mountain is. But closer markers are the Dragonslayer Grotto on the east 
and Linda Vale in the north. But around here on this uh, peninsula over here in the middle should be the armor upgrade diagrams. Let's zoom out a bit so you can see the bigger picture. So pretty far south. Right over there. So let's take care of that earth elemental really quickly. And there we go. Our current setup gets us amazing criticals by the way. And that takes care of these guys easily. Even though I'm uh, a bit over leveled. Look around some. Largely over leveled. So let's take a look around some. Probably in those ruins over here. Oh, there seems to be something in this... Oh no, it's probably on the other side. We could be able to reach it around here. Pretty easily done. And there we have the armor, gauntlets, trousers and boots superior diagram. So that's everything. Let's head to the blacksmith. Hello, Hattori. Greetings, Ibeer. So this has actually How been a help? while, but I'd like you to craft something for me. Listen, would you craft something for me? There we go. So, let's take a look around. Uh, we should focus on the swords. So we should go for the feline steel sword, superior steel sword. There we go. Everything present because I have a lot of materials. There we go. Steel sword superior. Looks like it's a bit curved or is that me? Looks like it's a bit curved. Uh, and then we have the feline silver sword. There we go. Also immediately done. Too bad about the dime iridium ingots it requires, but never mind. There we go. And now let's head to our favorite armor so in uh, in this world, in Crow's Perch. So hello, Joanna. Let's see if you can't help me out. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Well, I have some wonderful Witcher gear. You. Uh, could make for Need me. Some armor made. Witcher's armor. So there we go. Let's start with the superior feline boots. Easy peasy. And then we have the superior feline armor. Should be. Oh no, we're missing. Ooh, dimeridium plates. That's always annoying. Then we have the gauntlets. So the superior feline gauntlets, no problem at all. So we need two diamond radium plates, if I'm not mistaken. And then we need the trousers. Let's see if we can make those. I think we won't be able to. We need one more dark steel ingot. So let's quickly do that. So superior feline armor. There we go. Cure draconid ladder, diamond radium plate, quicksilver solution and monster hair. Easy peasy. And last but not least, the superior feline trousers, silk, dark steel ingots, hardened timber and monster heart. Not that hard to find. There we go. And now, of course, let's quickly equip that stuff. So there we go, looking fancy in that new studded blue armor with uh, a lot of chainmail added as well. So a lot of extra studs. And a lot of extra chainmail along. I don't think the pouch was there as well. So uh, look at that. He looks pretty cozy in that. And the swords, I think. And let's take the steel sword out. Yeah, the steel sword, as I told, is curved. So it wiggles around a bit. So that's it. Let's see uh, how the stats perform. So overall, not that bad. Of course, not in comparison with... Uh, pretty bad in comparison with what I'm currently using. But I'm over leveled a bit for this type of gear. So uh, mostly a focus on bleeding and critical hit chances. And then we have art sign as a focus and of course again bleeding and dismemberment. Uh, same goes for the armor. So elemental resistances and resistance to damage from slashing, piercing and monsters. And mainly a focus on attack power, purely attack power. So this is actually uh, pretty suitable for a glass cannon build. So a lot of attack power but very light armored. And there we go, that's it for this scavenger hunt. Hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys uh, got something out of it. Uh, let's see at the stats, look at that. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys got something out of it. And if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. If you, uh, 
got here just for the scavenger hunt don't forget to check out any of my other series i have a lot on the channel so uh, check that out if you can and if you uh, were really helped by this episode don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't already because that really helps out in making these kinds of videos so thanks again enormously for watching and i hope to see you in the next video or series goodbye